And we're supercharging again. This time only after 62 kilometers. Uh, we were actually thinking about going a little further, almost 100 kilometers, and then uh, charging at a Chatamo uh, with the Chatamo adapter, but suddenly uh, we became smart and uh, saw that uh, it was better to take this supercharger, which was after 62 kilometers, and then we can drive directly to our destination which is Notodden, uh, where the trailer, which is parked over there this time, uh, where the trailer is going to have its uh, check, uh, where they go through all the things uh, technical uh, to see if it's okay. And if it uh, passes the tests, then it's okay and uh, we'll get the good to go to register it and put Norwegian um, license plates because as you see behind here on the trailer or the caravan I mean sorry uh, if you see behind here we now have Danish license plates license plates behind the caravan so as you see we bought it there we'll be camping in we'll be bro camping in fritid and uh, imported it to Norway as you know so let's see how this process goes now let's go inside and check out the consumption here's the consumption and as you can see we are supercharging 62 kilometers we have driven we use 23 kilowatt hours of power quick uh, and um, we consumed 372 watt hour per kilometer, which is usually what we expect now. <laughs> well, of our lack of experience, of course, we have driven less than 200 kilometers, I guess. So, but still, seems to be that around uh, 370. That's where we will lie. Yeah. So the next route, you can see here. Here we're going from Porsgrunn supercharger and up to Noton. The only thing is that we're going this route through passing Ulefoss and then up here because the road is a lot better. So that is about 70 kilometers, one and a half hour drive, and uh, looking forward to see what the consumption will be now going inside or up country and uh, we'll have a little more elevation going up this time so let's continue our journey in a couple of minutes we have more than enough juice i think so let's continue our journey and uh, see what happens caravan now with Norwegian license plates Here we are at Nuut Odden. We are charging at the Chadamo station. We've been here for yeah, almost an hour now. 
juicing up to 90% and continuing our journey. So we have been sitting inside the caravan and just enjoying life while uh, Fast Lightning has got some more energy to spend. started to rain! Hooray! Well, for the trip, at least it's another element in the uh, consumption, because then we'll see how much does uh, this uh, caravan behind the car now use when the roads are wet and it's raining, and the temperature has also gone down, so that makes it extra interesting. It will increase the consumption of energy some something, but I don't know how much, so that'll be very interesting. So we still haven't left Nordodden. Uh, we stopped by at uh, uh, family to say hello since we were here. Got some food, talked a little, and uh, now we'll con continue our journey and uh, see how this goes. So far everything has gone very well, so we're crossing our fingers hoping that everything will continue to go as well as it has. We are now arrived at the supercharger in Åmot, in Vinje, in Telemark. And then for some, some consumption talk. <laughs> we now arrived here with 35%. We uh, charged up to 90% when we left. Here you can see the statistics. We had... Uh, we have traveled 104.6 kilometers with the, tra with the caravan behind. Uh, 388 watt hours per kilometer. That's a little higher, but um, we have had a lower average speed on this leg, uh, which brings the consumption down, but also we have had rain, as you can see. There's another mud lick pulling up. <laughs> we have had rain and uh, wet roads, so that will take the consumption up. And here are the superchargers. You see how we stopped this time? There are, it's quite late, it's almost 11 p.m., so we figure that we don't have to worry about too many other Teslas coming here to charge. So we stopped here. And finally, with our Norwegian signs, license plates, sorry, we had to, uh, or had to, at least we chose to block both of these uh, regular rapid chargers with the uh, CHAdeMO and CCS but uh, we'll just move if we have to so this is how we chose to stop this time and at this time of day there's no problem and there's also no other cars on the parking spots here so that's the advantage of coming here when it's late but if we did come here in the middle of the day, we would probably just hook off the caravan and then start charging. But yeah, I have to have uh, I have to go to the restroom, and uh, we'll probably eat something while the car charges, and then we'll head on to our next destination so we can get some sleep before heading home tomorrow. had our first night, no sorry, we've had our second night and uh, this is where we have slept. It's been very nice and uh, we didn't get that many hours of sleep because we have to get home because she has to go to work. So uh, 
yeah, we'll just have to continue our journey and the next stop is uh, Rista in Valle where we are going to have a Chadmo charge and uh, yeah, we really have to go now before we get eaten up by all these small animals or insects so off we go! So when you go camping it's also important to uh, take some stops and look around at all the nice spots and especially here in Norway, we have a lot of nice uh, nature and mountains and yeah. So here we are in uh, Honevia in Valle and uh, yeah, I'll show you and you can see uh, this beautiful popular spot. And uh, so far, so good. I thought that we would have to have to take a Chadamo stop to uh, continue our trip, but it seems like we can uh, leap between two superchargers, and that's perfect. So before we went to bed yesterday, we uh, had uh, a lot of climbing up into the mountains, and uh, today we have uh, been uh, traveling quite a bit down. I actually had an increase in the battery percentage on the way down, so that's fun. Um, yeah, so we'll leap between two superchargers and uh, see how that goes with the caravan behind. So here we parked. We're in Big Lund. And you can see the caravan in the background there. We parked it uh, away because, yeah, there's not that much space here to park it. But it's a very nice place, right by the water. And uh, here they make glass. So there's a shop and a small cafe. And there's also people sleeping here in tents. And uh, there's also a public rapid charger with uh, Chadamo and CCS. So with 30% left, 500 and uh, no, 330 watt hour per kilometer and 120 kilometers typical left, we reached uh, the Big Lun uh, supercharger. And we have now driven 139 kilometers, on almost 140 kilometers. Now today the weather is better, the roads are dry. So that might of course explain why we have a little lower consumption. But also we have driven a lot downhill. So that also does a lot uh, with the consumption. The car is supercharging, and uh, what do we do while we wait for the car to finish? Well, the only thing that makes sense... Food! <laughs> so we can sit inside the caravan and we can eat and watch the view of the old people's home. <laughs> well, anyway, and the dog can sit there and beg for food. So we're uh, just waiting for it to finish off and uh, enjoying this breakfast meal inside the caravan. So here it is, since last charge, that's what we're looking for. 98.8 driven kilometers, almost 100 kilometers. That's 31.5 kilowatt hours and uh, an average of 
319 watt hour per kilometer. And that's not bad at all. That's like 100 watt hour, watt hour per kilometer um, more than I would use not pulling the caravan. Uh, at least that's my estimate. So around 100 uh, watt hours per kilometer more. And that is unexpected actually. Very unexpected. If you see the trip A, that's uh, the trip all together. 676.3 kilometers, 232.2 kilowatt hours, and uh, the consumption then is 343. So that's just a bit more than uh, around 220, 230 watt hour per kilometer that I usually would use on a trip like this. Uh, or yeah, let's say around 200 then, since uh, I usually drive a lot on the motorways in high speeds. So, considering that these uh, roads can't be driven in 100 and uh, we're not allowed to drive more than 80 kilometers per hour with a trailer, I'd say not bad at all. So, thank you for watching and uh, following. It was um, a very interesting first trip and uh, we'll see what the next trips will show and we'll find another, a lot of a lot of other nice places in Norway to visit. We have a beautiful country and uh, that's exactly what our philosophy was uh, for this uh, summer and this caravan. Camping around in Norway in our own country for a change and uh, looking at what our own country has to offer. If you have any questions just post them and I'll try to answer as quickly as I can. Please follow uh, on youtube.com slash everyday tesla life and i hope you enjoyed it thank you So when you go uh, camping, you also have to stop and take some uh, uh, look. You have to. So when you go camping, you also have to uh, stop and look at all the nice uh, sights and spots along the way. So here we are in Honnevia, in uh, Valle uh, Municipality. The car is now supercharging, and uh, what do we do while the car is charging? Well, the only thing that is fornuftig. So the car is supercharging, and uh, what do we do while we wait for the car to supercharge? Well, the only thing that 